Workshop Topics Welcome to a short review of a Lin Tools 100mm quick release DRO digital readout that I bought recently for my Boxford lathe. This image shows two of these DRO units. The bottom one is for my Myford lathe and the top one is for my Boxford lathe. The only real difference between these two units is the shape and style of the clamps. This clip shows the first DRO that I bought clamped to my Myford and as you can see the clamp arm has to go all the way across the bed. A slight disadvantage of the way it fits to the Myford means you can't use the tailstock whilst it's locked in position. This isn't a problem though because it's a very easy job to remove and refit the unit. This is my old Boxford lathe and I repainted it a while ago using Colchester paint because I preferred it to the original grey. And here is the Lin Tools DRO that I'm about to clamp to it. As usual, I do get some greasy fingerprints on the things I handle in the workshop. This one occurred when I was fitting the battery. When you see a brand new lathe in a showroom, they always look really nice, and it seems such a pity to mess them up by turning metal on them. And by touching parts of the lathe, you're bound to get oil on your fingers, so I'm not too worried about the oily fingerprint on the DRO. This Boxford unit fits better than it does to the Myford, because the clamp doesn't have to go all the way across the bed. And this means it can be more or less left in position all the time because it doesn't foul the tailstock. I would only have to move it to accommodate machining a longer piece of bar. These small DRO units are fitted with magnets at each end. Not just any magnets though, these are neodymium magnets and they are very powerful. Bearing in mind that the slide on this DRO was slightly stiffer than on the one for the Myford, I had to move the saddle of the lathe slightly closer to it before the magnet picked it up. I bought these DROs from Lin Tools via eBay. They're not expensive, well worth the money, and the one for the Boxford lathe was even cheaper than the one for the Myford. And in August 2022, the price of the Boxford unit was only £54.80, including postage. These units are well thought out, well designed, well made, especially the clamp that fits to the lathe, which doesn't mark the lathe bed at all and having a neodymium magnet at each end of the slidey bit is pure genius. I often complain about the battery life of digital devices used in my workshop, so I've bought a few with 70% extra life, allegedly. Time will tell. On the plus side though, I don't think I'll be using these DRO units for every job. This is a very short video, so I thought it would include one or two extra things. A few weeks ago I decided to repair the paintwork on my Myford ML7R lathe. I made a video about it showing how I did it. It wasn't a difficult job. Here's the before photograph and here's the after. This is the finish I got straight from the paintbrush. After the paint's hardened in a few weeks, I'll reduce the newly painted look by using some tea cut. Now for something entirely different. Look at this. My latest grandchild at the ripe old age of three weeks. I find babies fairly frightening, but I like this one. She is my third grandchild. Here she is at two weeks old. What a character. And there's another one on the way. My youngest daughter is due to give birth early October. And that is it for this very short video. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainstream Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.